I've been sent out to get firewood. told me to get some big branches but they're so dry the bits that I've found they'll burn quicker so I'm gonna need more of it but they'll just all snap to bits so I'm gonna wake an him and I'm just gonna break it all up here and put it in my bags <laughs> needs to be little bits for that rocket stove thing anyway Every single day we'll have to do this now, we've got this stove thing, but at least we don't have to worry about running out of gas. <laughs> See if he sends me back out for more when I get back there. One more. Oh! Oh! Getting on with this fire. Darling! Got some wood! Yeah. Here, come and check. Is that enough or not? Yeah. Is that enough or not? Um, it's really more. it's really dry. Yeah, it'll burn really quick. I thought so. I knew you were gonna yeah. tell me that. Yeah. I told you. Give me the bags then. There's most of the wood that I got. He told me not to get that stuff again though. <laughs> the only thing is with these, they need more attention than what Liam the Terrible does. You have to just keep feeding them and feeding them. I'm just trying to cook a beef stew for tomorrow and I want it to cook and simmer for as long as possible. So I'm probably gonna be here all night, but it's so therapeutic. I'm allowed to burn this one because it's the pokey stick, he said. My pan's black. That's it cooking away. And the sun's just setting. There you are, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Morning guys! So Purdy got me some hair dye the other day. But I suffer with um I don't know how to say the word. Sub Subitious dermatitis or something. I think it's that or psoriasis or something. I don't know. I've never been diagnosed with anything. I'm just diagnosed myself, but it gets really irritated. Um, so I'm gonna have to wash my hair today and then do it in a couple of days just to try and calm it down. Hi, Baba. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, it's flying away. So I'm gonna wash my hair and then in a couple of days I'll be able to dye it. Um, I'm worried for other people. <laughs> she keeps wanting to play on the beach and in the sand and, you know what I mean, live the life that she'd been living. But I want to make you put, no you just can't, day can't make them no. understand, can you? The other, the other, da the other day, no. yeah, we were going past the, um, past the park, we'd walk down Stokesley. Um, and she couldn't understand why she couldn't go and play on the swings and everything like that. And uh, 
you know, I, I said to her, I said, no, I said, the police have shut it down. I said, we're not allowed on there. And she said, maybe the, maybe the good policeman will come along and, uh, and open it. They've got, they've got us like, they've got us lined up like freaking, like, like they do in China, you know, sat waiting for the CCP handouts. Kirsty's not much better and there's not, nothing, nothing, all the, no bets, all bets are off. <laughs> she's got other work, other work as well, which, um, you know, she does contract work. Then, what happened next Fresh. was Russia. He has his hands in pharmaceutical companies' pockets. Right? He That's better. At Taiwan's membership into the World Health Organization because um, China have, don't recognize Taiwan and he's been told not to. All right. So he's directing our government. These exosomes burst out of the cells and attack the toxins, so they're part of our immune system. Oh, Birdie's on the phone to Jonah. Okay, I'm on the phone to John, actually. Oh, is it John? Yeah, I'm on the phone oh, to John. Oh, I thought it was Newport. Jonah. <laughs> no, no. So these exosomes oh, okay. burst out of our uh, burst out of our cells oh, and attack root. toxins, and they're a vital part of our immune system. However, you put the slides together of what an exosome looks like you mean and, a mirror. and a coronavirus, yeah, they are exactly the same. No, they're not similar. They are exactly the same. What this is about is, right, so if you create a vaccine to kill off these exosomes, what's going to happen to your immune system? Oh, that feels good. Exactly, it's gonna go. Right guys, really is amazing what you can use for plant pots. There you go. This one is for carrots. Um, I'm going to fill some of it up so far with stones, top it off with soil and grow some carrots in there. Carrots want to grow two foot above ground level um, and that prevents carrot fly getting to them. So there's another little idea. So if you are putting carrots in, stick them two foot higher than ground level to stop carrot fly. We're doing a veggie patch. And we got some seeds the other day and some plants. We have savoy cabbages, celery, and then all these seeds. So we're going to get these planted. Purdy's already got a few planters up, and he's given me the task of sorting this lot out, because there's some pretty good compost in here. But I'm going to have to weed it, get all the rubbish out, sort it into burnable and non-burnable. <laughs> I think we're going to be on this for a few days. A few days, it took me a day, half a day even, to do that patch. I don't think it was this bad. Yeah, Where's it was. Where's the rubbish then? Eh? Where's the rubbish? Uh, the that rubbish. you took out? Yeah. Well, all, all right, yeah, I'll give you that. There, there you is go. quite a bit of rubbish in the glass and bits it's and pieces. It's mainly rubbish. I don't even know if there's any bloody good compost in here. It's full of compost. It's I full can of guarantee glass. <laughs> it, it's full of compost, I can guarantee you. It better be. It is. So, yeah, that's the task I've been... Allocated. Uh-huh. And uh, it's got some plants. She's there. taking orders. <laughs> it's a lovely sunny day. I've had a, I've had a bit of a, a, a day that started off good, but then ended in ended shit <laughs> because I shared my opinion on Facebook with love. I mind Tad. <laughs> Just getting a load of <laughs> back. So that's why I hate that bloody platform. But I had to share a petition. So. 
There we go. Anyway, yeah, I'm out in the green and sucking up some good positive rays. <laughs> Getting some vitamin D for our immune system, aren't Yes. <laughs> and Kaylin, you're doing a really good job there, sweetheart. Aren't you? So yeah, guys, we've got peas, we've got lettuce, we've got kale, sprouts, spring onions, spicy salad leaves, carrots, tomatoes, and some dwarf beans. And uh, obviously we're not gonna have enough room in these little patches to do all that. So I'm gonna clear some space out in the old veggie patch there as well. That'll uh, be a nice easy job for you because there's no rubbish in that. For me? Yeah. For me? I'd rather do that than this one. Well, go on then. Just look at all the rubbish. Go on then. This is going to take ages. Go on. You, you go and clean that one out. If you'd feel better doing that, love. Go on. I don't object at all. If you want to clean some space out in there. Are you going to do this one? Yeah, I'll do that one. Right, give me a garden fork. Here. Fork off. Charlie Dimmox. <laughs> go on. I've got, I've got a bra on. Fork off. Get off me potatoes. God blimey! Go that way. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my God. It's like educating a pork chop. I'm joking, sweetheart. I love you and I admire what you're doing. <laughs> it's what we used to do back at the house. So, need some uh, decent quality soil. Do that, need a riddle. I've got an old seed tray there, bit of mesh. Daddy, I was putting that in there. Oh yeah. Yeah. I need to put a bit more in. You need to put some more in? Good girl, I'll take it back there for you then. I've not got to the point where uh, we have to start eating them yet, but they are garden snails and they are edible. I'll take everybody else's word that it's a good source of protein. I have tried them before in a garlic sauce, but... I need some more. Have you got some more in there? Oh, wow. Can you put it on that heap there for me, please? Yeah. Good girl. So yeah, some good quality compost there. Brilliant. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought commercial flights were uh, banned, or the majority of them. Look up, guys. I wonder what they're spraying. it in that garden and I've managed to get a few loads of washing done there's one more in and on the line now so that's that'll be all the washing done today as well and uh, we're all starving so I'm just sorting out our dinner for tonight that stew that I cooked last night on the stove outside I've um, portioned it out so we've got a meal 
for tonight and probably another one tomorrow with the amount that's in there this lot will go in the freezer um, and I've just put some veggies in there and that's what we're having tonight I'll put some mushrooms and green beans in when they've cooked a little bit and uh, I, bet, uh, I suppose I better go out and start the fire Trying to keep your nose out. Well done. Turning into a proper little bush baby, aren't you? <laughs> no. Just let that cook for half an hour or so. I can't wait for me dinner now. Well, after a hard day's work, got to have a good meal. I love. We've worked hard, haven't we, darling? We have. We certainly have. It's about ready. I'm just letting the flame die out now. So. All right. So we got the uh, planter done. And those couple of plant pots down there, that's full of spuds. It's got a couple of leeks growing in there and a couple of carrot tops as well. Made a start on the vegetable patch. Got all that lot cleaned out. And that's a nice little nursery bed. And a little bit later on, I shall uh, get those seeds in and those planted. We have done a bit of gardening. You were digging as well, weren't you? Yeah. <sighs> it's Kaylin's, I'll let it cool down a bit. Wow. <laughs> so hungry. No! Oh no, you don't. And the old ash stove's working well, isn't it, love? Oh yeah. Do you prefer cooking on this or over the Gas oh, oven. definitely outside. And there we go. It's therapeutic having to feed the fire. Is that enough oh. for you? Or? Stick a little bit more in. Can you take all the veg out and just give me the meat? No. Oh. It's a bloody grade. <laughs> it was worth a try. There we go. Is that enough for you or not? Yeah, that's enough, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Veggies are good for you. Got to feed your immune system. Indeed. You know what, guys? It may be a bit of a f***ed up world we're living in right now, but even in its f***ed upness, you've got to appreciate the beauty. This one in particular. <laughs> you sound like Chewbacca. Have you been busy gardening all day? Hmm? Should Daddy go and put them plants in? Yeah? Yeah, are you coming with me? I'll finish my coffee first. Can I borrow your spade? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> I'll give these a little water before I put them in.
and I've always been a believer that there should be certain times when you plant things in accordance with the phases of the moon and it's nearly a full moon so waxing to full is good for planting and wane into a dark moon good for harvesting I'm not going to put all these seeds in because I'm going to want another crop out of them as well so at a later date I'll put a few more in so that's a few carrots down isn't it sweetheart Huh? Get some of this stuff. <laughs> Will they grow? Will the shades grow? Yeah, we'll soon have some baby carrots. <gasps> I like baby carrots. I love baby carrots, especially straight out of the garden. <laughs> They're so yummy. Yep. Raw carrots straight out of the garden. What is that? that? That's a leek. Is it a leek? It is. I, like, I don't like leeks. <sighs> you do, Caitlin doesn't like leeks. The moon's up there somewhere and it is almost full. And these are some dwarf beans. I'll stick a crop down now give it a few weeks and stick some more in and then you don't have everything coming all at the same time and there are peas yeah yeah I'm in it I'm in it Yes, Mummy! There we go. Beans, peas, lettuce. And I'll get the rest of them in tomorrow. <sighs> right. It's bedtime, guys. Oh, I need to go and wash my hands first. Good night. God bless. Sweet dreams. About to leave, already packing Come with me, I'm not really asking We'll get away, to a place where we don't know